What's up guys, this is Jonathan. I'm just coming to y'all from the back of my truck actually. And I'm gonna go with you uh, step by step on how to make yourself a DIY uh, adapter to attach to the back of your canvases uh, for spin art. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because I've looked on YouTube myself and uh, there isn't any videos uh, quite explaining, you know, step by step how to make a good quality one. So I'm just gonna take it upon myself to make my own. So. Here we go. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is, of course, uh, some 1x4. Uh, this one's for an 11 by 16 canvas. So um, uh, I have two more here. I have this one for an 8x10 canvas and this one for a 16x20. <clears throat> We're going to start with 11 by 16 today. Uh, you actually get this 1x4 at Lowe's, uh, Marvin's, Home Depot, anywhere that sells lumber, they should have it. It's untreated, it's uh, extremely cheap, and uh, I don't have a saw here myself to do it, so I had them pre-cut it for me. So, uh, and they didn't charge me anything to cut it, so that's a good deal there. And so, uh, you're gonna need a one by four, you're gonna need a tape measure, of course. Um, I use uh, Flat Phillips, uh, one eight number eight by an inch and a quarter i'm sorry i was having to read it off the thing i didn't really i just kind of looked at it and guessed at it but these are what's gonna when you put when you put your board on your canvas this is what's going to screw down into here to hold it to your canvas while you're spinning it so you want it to go through the wood but not all the way through the canvas here okay Another thing you're going to need is, uh, you don't need this, but I, I bought one anyway. It's a speed bore uh, 3 8 paddle bit. Uh, this is what you're going to use to drill through the center of your board here to attach your carriage bolts to be able to attach that into your drill chuck so that you can spin it. Uh, you're going to need a 530 seconds drill bit. Uh, this is to uh, pre-drill your holes in the side to attach it to your canvas so your wood don't split when you... Uh, Go to screw your screw in there. So you'll need the 532nd bit. Of course, you're going to need a drill, and um, you're going to need 3 8 uh, carriage bolt by inch and a half. These are inch and a half long, and they're 3 8 wide. And I went ahead and got a flat washer, a, th a 3 8 flat washer, a 3 8 locking washer, and a 3 8 nut. You're going to need three setups of these. So you're going to need three carriage bolts. If you're making three, now you may, if you're just making one, you only need one, but you'll need um, the carriage bolt, the flat washer, and this locking nut, and or lock washer, and this nut. <coughs> so, and uh, of course, you're going to have to have a uh, sharpie to be able to mark your holes. So, the first thing I'll do is I'll measure my piece of wood, it's already 11 inches. So midway of 11 inches would be around five and a half. So what we'll do is we'll take our Sharpie, and we'll measure, we'll measure, I'll measure it this way because I'm right handed. Measure 11, or 11 inches is your width of your wood or your length. And then five and a half inches will be your mark. And you just put a little mark somewhere near the center because what we're going to do is we're going to measure the side of our wood. It's a one by four. It should be four inches long. But everybody knows that true lumber, rough cut lumber, is never going to be what it is wide. So this particular piece is three and three quarters wide. So we'll just take and mark it at an inch and three quarter. And that should be dead center. Or close. It don't have to be perfect, but you need it to be pretty close to center, so that when you put your hole in there and you're drilling it, your piece ain't flopping around on your drill. Okay. So that's what I got as far as the center. Next thing you do is you'll take your speed bore bit, or paddle bit, or spade bit, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, you just open it up. Or you can use just a regular three-eighths drill wood bit. I just prefer this method. You can do it however you want. It's just easier to me like this. Put it in the drill. And uh, maybe you guys can see that. Yeah. Well, just turn this a little bit. But 
Just take and put the center of your paddle in there and drill that hole. And uh, that's your hole. Simple as that. <clears throat> Next, you'll uh, just take uh, taking your carriage bolt and pull the nut off and just pull all the stuff off. And you'll want to thread it through this side. Now, it's not going to go all the way in if you get a carriage bolt because it's got this square thing around it. And when you, when you take your... Uh, when you take your uh, stuff and you put it on there and you tighten it up, it's going to pull that. It's going to pull that into the the square part into uh, the wood, so that it'll hold and won't spin loosely. Okay, so you'll just so you'll just put the carriage bolt in there. You'll get a three eighths drive, three eighths uh, wrench, or whatever you want to use, and tighten this all the way down until it pulls that in there. Okay. And uh, that's how you do the center group, the center, um, the adapter part. This part will actually go in your drill. Stick that in your drill, tighten it up. And then once you tighten it up, you spin it and it'll spin the whole thing. That's, that explains that. So the next next thing uh, we do is bring our canvas over. Now I know y'all notice this has got a hole in it. I bought it from Michaels, and they give you a discount for buying damaged product. I think it's sixty percent discount on a pack of seven. I think um, canvases like this. So what you'll do is you'll take and find the center of your canvas. This is uh, right at fourteen inches. I'm sorry, these are 11 by 14 canvases, not 11 by 16, so this is right. Um, find the center, which uh, the center of four or 14 would be seven. So you would uh, look on here and just kind of mark, mark seven on your canvas. Put a little dot. And that's just a reference point. That's just where you're gonna try to try to line up and try to get it as close as you can to that. Because if not, when you do when you do your spinning, it'll flop a lot. <clears throat> and you just come on this side and mark seven. Put a little dot. And then uh, on this part right here, you don't have to measure anything. You just gotta basically come over here and kind of get a get a reference point. So that you don't come too far in on your thing and miss your canvas, or go too far on the outside and miss your canvas. So I'm just going to eyeball it kind of middle ways and put a dot with my sharpie, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And at that point, you'll take your five thirty second bit. Just basically drill your holes in the side and um, or holes on the where you put your drill mark right here and on this side Alright, so I pre-drilled my holes and um, that's what it's going to look like and then all you have to do uh, is tighten this up and it's going to it's going to tighten down it's going to tighten down your um, your carriage nut and then when it activates that lock washer it should stay it shouldn't go anywhere 
and then uh, it's a pretty solid piece you'll just stick this in your chuck of your drill and uh, tighten it down and that should hold it and then what you'll do is you'll stick this on the side of your and try to line it up as close as you can to where uh, you make your marks you're gonna have to guess try to get it as close as you can and you'll take two of your wood screws uh, the inch and a quarter number eight by inch and a quarter and uh, you'll actually take and run these down in here like this and I'm not getting ready to actually do a canvas so I'm not going to screw these down but you guys get the point now let me show you this let me take these out now let me make sure you guys can see that the thickness of your one by four plus the thickness of your canvas you want the screw to go in and catch this canvas but you don't want it to go so far in that it goes through the other side through the front of your canvas so this is actually a little closer than i would want it but that would work out uh, basically all you would do is just screw this down to where the flat part of your screw is flush with the wood and you would know that you would not get too much penetration through there as to go through the front of your canvas so that you would do that on both sides and basically that's uh that's pretty much it how you do that uh, or how i do it everybody does it different you would just repeat the process for any size uh, adapters that you may have and you just tighten this down and uh, it'll pull that together right there and it'll just pull it all together and um that's pretty much it guys i thank y'all for watching uh if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and i'll try to get back to them as soon as i can but you can do this with pretty much any you can do it with two by fours if you'd like but that's really heavy and then you run into the problem of it not spinning very well in your drill because it's so heavy because you can get these canvases up so big you know and um another thing to do is mark your size of your jig or your adapter or whatever you want to call it right here so that you have easy access and you're not kind of guessing but uh, anyway, good guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Jonathan, and uh, I appreciate y'all taking the time out to watch my video. And uh, hope y'all come up with some cool stuff.